I say this sentence that it's not the workload that's stressing you out. It really is a lack of personal boundaries, connection with yourself, God, and others in relationship outside of your work. We are, I am responsible for what I say yes to and what I say no to. And ultimately, that's what boundaries are. Your choices reveal your values. So you've got aspirational values and you've got actual values that you embody. Actual values are the things that you actually are saying yes to. If you truly value those things, then you will apply the necessary energy to protect and reinforce them. If you haven't done a lot of values work and clearly defining and organizing those so that you can live on purpose, then your the boundaries or the borders of your life are going to be meandering and they're going to be unclear. Some values are non-negotiable and never change. Some values may shift and change and grow and adapt. And that's okay as long as it's happening on purpose. So when I say it's, it's likely not the workload that's stressing you out. I'm not trying to be insensitive. The work will never be done, especially if you're doing work that you care about. It's okay that you're thinking about it a lot. So you've got to decide that, hey, I'm going to create a rhythm now. And there may be times where I have to overextend myself, but that can't be the normal. That is a pathway to resentment, burnout, bitterness, and depression. And so that's what we're trying to avoid. Uh, it generally is a, a slow process over time. And if you've gone, uh, the longer you've gone without some of those boundaries and clarity around them, then the more you might have to backtrack, the more you might have to excavate, the more, the more structure you may have to build and create.